on the Marine Corps vet. It has been a long journey getting this thing home. I drove 24 hours last night, yesterday and last night to get this thing back from New York. Had a big giant experience with the U-Haul trailer. Might do a video on that later. I don't know yet. I'm still, I'm still raw over it. It was a bad deal, okay? Uh, first thing we're gonna do with this thing is we're gonna diagnose, diagnose the, uh, the fan not coming on and off. So there's a couple little tricks we're gonna use to uh, check that out. I think the first thing we're gonna do is just check the entire wiring system. And to do that, we're gonna use the Corvette bend method. And we're gonna take a paper clip and jump the A and B ports in the OBD-1. So let's do that. Okay, so basically what you do is you come to the thing where you check your uh, like engine light codes and stuff, the OBD-1 uh, sensor, and you get a paper clip and you hotwire it to the uh, to the A and B port, and that basically like bypasses the computer and just runs the fan on like constantly uh, because there could be a computer problem or there could be like a fuse shortage or something somewhere. So we just do that and then we set it to run. And then our fan's working. So that's how we know it's not a fan problem, it's more like a relay problem or a fuse problem. All right, so we did the diagnostics check. Everything checks good, fan came on. So the next thing we're gonna do is just start troubleshooting a little bit. So the easiest thing to start troubleshooting is the relay, the fan relay, which is right here. And if you'll come in closer, you'll see this one has a bit of uh, silicon on it and it's probably bubbled up real good so we're gonna start right here luckily we have an extra here that we know is good so we're just gonna unplug plug this one in and then we're gonna just start the car get it to temperature and see if it actually operates like it's supposed to now here's the hard part get this thing off come on oh Ooh, she's bubbled up good oh yeah bubbled up that's her oh boy yep yeah. Um, Chuck breaking in half? Yeah. Yeah, Bubba done got her good. <laughs> Dang it. Yep. Bubba will get you every time. Now come here and look at this. Look at this. Yowza. Dang. That is smoked. All right, so we may need to replace on this a bit. Dang. All right, well, moving on to plan B. So this is the, the good relay that we know that we have a good one here. And we cleaned it up a bit. And I always use WD-40 when I clean my electronics. It's really good. It's a water displacement, so you can get all the grease and water out of there. It's good for them, loads them up real good. Also cleaned this port, this plug here, so it looks quite a bit better. Not as burnt up. So we're gonna plug in our known good one. All right. And then we will operate the vehicle, get it some temperature, and see if the fans kick on like this, which we're supposed to. So right now we got the new relay put in and we're uh, letting the car get to Tim, watching the gauges and we're trying to see once he gets up to like higher temp with the fan kicks on. Um, I got low doubts, or, I mean I got high doubts, I guess that's what I'd say. I don't think it's going to turn on, but we'll see. Doing a little more troubleshooting on it. What we've discovered here is that the relay itself isn't being powered to close the contact. So we're going to troubleshoot those a little further. And the next thing we're going to do is check that we have the constant 12 volt ground coming here off of this fusible link here. So this may be bad too. So we're going to check that next. So 
before we go drive 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it is it's going to be, we're going to just extra make sure this switch is what's wrong. So I took the switch wire off. So the way this switch works is when you get it to a certain temperature, the switch flops over and becomes a ground for the relay over here and then it pops the relay and it turns the fans on. So what we're going to do is we're going to ground out this wire. If the fan comes on, that means this switch is bad. So here's what we're going to do here. Just get it stuck in there and... So we definitely got a bad uh, temperature switch. So we're going to go get one of those and slap it in here and hopefully this fixes this problem for good. things that you just get a little quarter turn at a time it takes forever and you can't really can't really get in there when your hands are all harder it's just such a tight spot especially when you still have all the emissions and stuff on the car this is a little original it really works the hamstrings you gotta stretch over like this Burns. <laughs> uh oh. Put your finger in that water. Oh shoot. Water's like pouring out. And it stings. My hands are like the most awkward position. It's like bent over, man. You can't, you can kind of see it. My pinky's like. <laughs> I'm, starting, I'm starting to get a cramp. What, why is there water? Oh, is that so it can tempt the water? How hot it's getting? Got it. Hurry up. And... Oh God, it's just, you can't get in there at all. All right, you'll have to go grab that mag magnet with the orange handle. What what area is it in? Dude, I'm not seeing a a magnet anywhere. Golly. Did you get it in there? Yeah. What'd you use the magnet for? Because I couldn't grab it. I dropped it. it was about oh. 100 yards down there. Damn, my meat grabbers are just, just too big to go in there. Come on, man. <laughs> meat grabbers. <laughs> You would think the way this car opens up with the hood that everything would be super easy to work on but it's still pretty difficult it's not like that difficult over there it's difficult what's over there the c7 oh that's hard to work on <laughs> yeah you can't even see the exhaust on it on this side. There's just goobble gop everywhere. <laughs>
right, so now what we've done, we've troubleshot everything. Fans are working properly. We put the new switch in down here for the temp for the fan. Got the relay put back together. All that's operating. Problem is the car's still overheating with both fans on, the, both the primary and the auxiliary fan. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thermostat out. It's probably stuck from being sitting so long. It's probably rusted shut. So we'll put a new one in there. We got a new, uh, we're gonna drop it down to 180 degree stat. We'll get that put in there. And once we get that back in, we'll do another test on it, see if she's gonna actually start cooling down on us. Pretty good. Pretty sure that all this was put together with the plenum. <laughs> Not on the car originally. You didn't do anything. Uh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think Philip would have got a new windshield. Yeah, I'd suck to bust that one because it ain't even got, it don't even have road rash on it. It's like mm -hmm. crystal clear. It's crazy. I guess they just keep the roads better up there in New York. I don't know. So one trick that we did to not make a huge mess taking this apart, pop open your radiator cap, and get you a pump, and just pump the fluid out into a jug, and then you don't make a huge mess everywhere. Pro tip. This is the, uh, I call it the mechanic shuffle. One little scoot at a time, you know. Boop, little scoot at a time, reset. Boop, one little scoot, reset. It's just, it's fun, you know, it's like a little game. What is this like? Three inch long bolt, probably. It's gonna make it work for it. All right, your turn. So we got the thermostat replaced, and then uh, I was filling up the radiator fluid, the coolant, and Dad's gonna get us started, and we're gonna see if it overheats. We're gonna keep putting coolant in it. Uh, hopefully that's the problem. If it's not, then it's gonna be the, uh, the water pump, which is like on the front. Look at her. Circulate the, the water. 
No thermostat in there, took it for a test drive. Gets up the temperature, fans kick on like they're supposed to now. Regulates the temperature, good to go. So we fixed that. Uh, we got a few other little things we gotta fix. We're gonna get some, maybe wheels and tires for this thing. If not, maybe just tires. Don't know yet on that, we'll figure that out. Next, next thing we really wanna do is clean it. We're gonna get it cleaned up, clean the outside, clean the interior, get everything just looking nice. And uh, that'll be the next video we do, but this is, this is gonna wrap up episode two for the, the red C4.